I'm trying to reroute the heat for the passenger van. It's coming from underneath the passenger seat right here. It's about 10 inches wide, about an inch and a half. Take this air register vent, cut a hole in the side of it, and we can attach it to there to direct the hot air out. All right, now we're getting the floor down. I'll show you what we have. We got the foam, then we got half inch particle board on top of that. Cut the side out of it just enough to slip it on top of the plastic, and this actually holds on pretty good. And the good thing is it's flexible, so you can lift it up to whatever height of the floor you need. So we'll put our uh, laminate flooring underneath this. We got our heater installed. See, we got all the holes sealed up. That's with the flooring over top. We're going to use the existing plastic. Keep that on top. It actually fits like perfect. So we'll run the uh, laminate flooring up to it, and we'll run a transition to cover this seam. And then this is what we're using for the insulation. So now we got to get this middle part done. Probably going to use a, one of these holes for drainage when we don't need to have the gray water tank hooked up. All right, so now we got our floor in here got our tools to lay it and we got our floor in and it's a floating floor we didn't attach this with any glue or anything we just put down the insulation and then we put down the wood over top of it to lay down the flooring we have our tools here we have our spacers you usually put these on the edge to create a little gap so the floor can expand and contract depending on how hot or cold it is in the season we got our tapping block this is one of the more important things to lay in the floor you basically hook it onto your flooring and then you use the hammer to tap and click them into place. There's another important tool, this one right here. You can see it's got a little hook on this end and this end. This is good for getting into tight spaces. So if we need to click something in, we can put this on the edge, tap it, and then pull it tight to lock it in. You can see the features there. It's the click lock, so they lock right in. It's got the underlayment, which is nice, so we didn't have to buy that and it's 100% waterproof. So if you're looking for 100% waterproof flooring for your van, you wanna make sure you get the vinyl planks. They have a lot of different uh, laminate flooring and the one with wood is the one you do not want. So get the vinyl planks if you're looking for 100% waterproof flooring. So this is what it looks like. It's just a wood color, it's almost feels like wood. They put the grains in there. The nice thing is the underlayment underneath, they've already added this and then you can see close up you can see how they click and lock in almost like little puzzle pieces so this is really easy to lay makes the makes the floor look really nice and it protects it now we're doing the laminate wood floor in here and what we're going to do is we're actually got to finish the steps before we can finish the top of it so what we're going to do is we're going to use wood to cover this and the back of it. What we're gonna do is connect into the existing plastic pieces that they have right here. So what we gotta do is we gotta get the wood over top of it and then we're gonna put screws, one inch screws in through the wood into here. The hard part is getting the holes lined up over top of the wood. Most people, you're gonna put it over here and it's gonna be a guessing game on where those holes are. So I'm gonna show you a little trick to get that done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a template. I know the holes are here roughly, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here, put my finger there, I'm gonna circle roughly where I think it is. All right, so now I think they're all right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these out. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut squares in it. We can see how everything lines up now. We can see all the holes. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take tape and put it right over top. All right, and now that we got our template, we know exactly where our holes are. We can come right here, and we are gonna put little screw holes right where we're gonna put them into our wood. All right, everything's lined up. So now what we're gonna do, another hole there, and another hole there. 
with a template with the clear tape we should be able to put these exactly on so now we just get a drill and drill these holes out now we want to countersink those heads so when you make your template if you're looking to hit the screws I highly suggest cutting the hole out bigger than what you need and then using clear tape to put over top of it then put your template on then you'll be able to hit exactly where you need to when I went to put the step up I put pressure all around just to feel it make sure it was solid and it kept tilting back and the reason why it's tilting back is there's nothing back here to support it we have to put something in the back and it looks like we're going to be able to use our vinyl uh, fl uh, plank flooring so what we'll do is we'll get a big strip go all the way across here and then that should make everything more solid and then we'll go ahead and reconnect this We have our planks glued down into place. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and seal up all the corners. What we're using is the Dynaflex Ultra. So then we finished it up with putting these little corner edges to protect it. You can see what it looks like on the side. And this is our vent that we had. And you can see it's still adjustable. You can lift it up. You can see how we cut the side out. So it, the vent comes right out and blows right out there. 